welcome to Pies Around the House. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick review and demonstration of this Makita DBO 180Z Random Orbital Sander. So this is the box, let's see what we get inside. So first of all, we get the Random Orbital Sander, then we get the dust bag to attach to the sander, a 120 grit sanding sheet, then you get your instruction manual, your warranty information, and the Makita brochure. So the first thing to note is this is part of the Makita LXT 18 volt range of cordless tools. So it's therefore compatible with these Makita 18 volt lithium ion batteries. And the battery just slots into there like that. And then we've got the dust bag, which just fits over with this rubber seal. So you just push that on and pull it off like that. When you want to empty the dust bag, just give it a slight turn like this, anti-clockwise, and then just with a little wiggle and a bit of gentle persuasion, the bag will come off. Just push it on like that, slight turn clockwise and you're back in action. Now this sander can be used with a Makita dust extraction system or a vacuum using the right adapter. However, I'm not entirely sure I would want to do that as I think it's a lot easier to move this around just using this dust bag. Now in this position, this dust bag is probably suitable for most of your needs. However, if you do want to turn it around and rotate it, you just undo this screw here and you can rotate the whole bracket around wherever you want and just tighten that screw back up. With everything in place, this sander is perfect for one-handed operation. Even down to the two buttons, they're very ergonomically located and can be operated quickly and easily using these two fingers. If you need to use two hands, I find you can comfortably place the second hand over the battery, one over the top, and use it like that. Now unlike some sanders that have the variable speed settings, this one just has three fixed speed settings. And these speeds are 7,000 orbits per minute, 9,500 orbits per minute, and 11,000 orbits per minute. Now like all Makita tools, this is extremely simple to operate. To turn the machine on, we just press that button there with the numbers on it, and this will default to the fastest setting. You press the button again, and it'll go down to the medium setting, press it one more time, and it'll go to the slowest setting. Then to turn the machine back off, we just press that button there. So I'll show you that now. And that's the fastest setting. That's the medium setting. And that's the slowest setting. And if you turn it off, we press that there. Now generally speaking, we're gonna want the fastest setting most of the time just to get on and do some good sanding. The medium setting is more for things like layered timber, like plywoods where you've got maybe an oak finish on the top and you don't wanna go so quick and be careful not to go through that layer. And then your slowest setting is for polishing when you finish the bulkier sanding. What I particularly like with the three settings is it's nice and simple. And quite honestly, when you have the variable settings, people mess around with those and you don't really know which one you want anyway. Pad on this is 125 millimeters or roughly five inches in Imperial. So it's not too big, so it can get into tight corners fairly well. Now being a random orbital sander, it means that as it rotates, it goes in slightly different directions and motions. This means that as it passes over the same piece of wood time and time again, it will do it in slightly different directions. And it's what this does is makes the sanding a lot more efficient and it also avoids leaving those horrible swirl marks that you get sometimes on those old fashioned sanders that keep rotating in exactly the same place. Now I'll see if I can show you that now on the slowest setting and as I turn it off and it slows down to a halt, just watch the direction of this sanding pad. And you can see there right at the end how it almost wobbles as it's coming to a halt. And that is that random action of that pad working. Here's another sanding disc, one that didn't come with the machine. And when you place this on the machine, just make sure that as you do it, it lines up with all the holes below because these holes are what allow the dust to be extracted into the bag. And these sanding pads just stick on with a hook and loop system. So there we go, you can see there, all those holes nicely lined up, allowing all that dust to be extracted up into the bag. So just to test this out and show you exactly how well it worked, I'm just gonna sand back my hip rafter, which is part of my loft conversion. And if you're interested in my loft conversion, I've done a whole series of videos from start to finish, and you go to my playlist, click on loft conversion, and they're all there. And for this, I'm just gonna wear my mask, I've opened the Velux window for a bit of fresh air, and I'm gonna put on my ear defenders. And as always, if you're interested in any of these products, I'll put a link to these in the description section below. There we go, you can see the rough underside, the nicely sanded side of that hip rafter, and then back into the old dark 
rough timber there. Now I'm actually really impressed with this because this was really rough. If you look at the underside where I haven't sanded, you know, this has given me splinters while I've been working up here. It is rough. I mean, the sandpaper I've used, they're good reviews. I got this on Amazon. I got about 100 pads of this and it's, you know, it is a rough one. That seems to be doing all right. But let's remember as well, some of it is down to the sandpaper but very easy to use. I mean, it's relatively light. Obviously the heavy bit is the, the weight of the battery. Um, I've got a five amp hour battery on here, so that'll probably last a while. And the dust collection, I'm extremely happy with. So I'll just show you what we got on the floor. Now, you can see there's some coarser bits to come down. Well, you would expect that, I guess. But actual fine particles, I mean, the air is pretty clear here. You probably can't quite see this, so it's not doing it justice. But if I was to do this with no bag on it, it would be everywhere up here. The sawdust just floats around. They've got the windows open, so I'll try to draw it out. But yeah, very impressed. All the coarse bits on the floor, and I'm assuming all the fine stuff is in the bag. So I'm gonna take this bag off now and see what we've got inside. Ah, here we go. Look at that. Even though that is just a, a little bag, you know, no vacuum hose on that, just the bag. And you can see what I was saying about it taking all that dust out. There's all your nasty fine particles. That, I think, has done a fantastic job. If we just unscrew that, might be a bit easier. You can see the remaining dust in there. Let's pour it all out so you can just see exactly what that collected. It's a hell of a lot of dust in there. So this bag is extremely effective. As you can see, when you take the front off the bag, it's extremely easy to clean as well. I know years ago on some of the old sanders they'd have like a baffle system inside these and they were a nightmare to clean. But that, brilliant really, you take the cap off, nice empty bag, you can tap it out in the bin, get rid of all your sawdust. With the usual Makita simplicity, you just pop that there into the groove, apply a bit of pressure, rotate a tiny bit clockwise and it's locked back into place, ready to go for sanding. And then to pop that back on, just push with that rubber seal and you're back in business, good to go. So like all my other Makita tools, this is simple, easy to use, it seems to be robust, it does exactly what it says it does, it's lightweight, ergonomic, and I'm really impressed with it. And it's not overly expensive either. If you already own Makita tools and you've already got these LXT batteries, then this sander is a great addition to your toolkit. So if you're interested in the Makita Orbital Sander, I'll put a link to this in the description section below. If you found the video useful, then please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon for regular notifications. I've been Pouts Around the House. Ta-ta, farewell. <laughs>